You're here because you're working on a lean engine. Long-term fuel trim has shifted high, indicating that the engine's lean. Or you're working on a misfire. Don't forget to check fuel pressure and fuel volume. They go right along hand-in-hand -hand with fuel injector testing. We're going to look at the injector's voltage waveform and the injector's current waveform. Voltage testing uses the ground side, the control side of the injector. Current testing, you can use either the B or the ground side to test. Connect the lab scope to the ground, the control side of the injector. As you can see, the wire is black and white. Down in the schematic, that tells us we're on injector number five. Get your waveform on your lab scope. Now diagnose it from left to right. The first part of the waveform should be normal battery voltage. That's near 14 volts with the charging system working normally. If B plus isn't normal, test the fuse and the wiring to the injector. If the fuse and the wiring are good, go to starting and charging system problems. Now that we're going to study where the injector is turned on, the PCM turns the injector on. It should be under two tenths of a volt because the PCM supplies a ground for the injectors to turn it on. If the ground voltage is over two tenths of a volt, check the wiring from the injector back to the PCM. If the wiring is good, go to PCM testing. When the PCM releases, turns off the injector, we're going to get an inductive kick. It should be equal to all other injectors. If it isn't, and the ground and the battery plus are normal, replace the injector. If you have one low one or one high one out of six or four or eight and B plus and ground are good, replace the injector. And then after the inductive kick, we should return back to normal battery voltage, charging system voltage. Current testing is done during the injector's on time when the computer drives the injector circuit low, turns it on. Injector current waveform testing, you can do it on B plus on the positive side of the injector or the negative side. The only difference is you may have to turn your probe around to get the pattern to go up and down instead of being upside. As we study the waveform from left to right just like we did before, this time when the injector is turned on, current goes up. Voltage goes down, current goes up. The hump indicates when the pintle in the injector is opening. All the injectors should open about the same position on the waveform. When one is opening lower, it indicates a weak closing spring in the injector. And this could cause a rich condition. When the opening is higher on the waveform, it indicates a sticking or dirty injector, which could result in a lean condition. Compare the peak amps to specifications. Higher amps are most likely shorted injectors. Shorted injectors can affect other injectors on older gang-fired system. They all look shorted when it's only one. This is an example of low current injector. Ensure that B plus is present at the injector. In order to have the right current, we have to have the right B plus. Bad PCM drivers are the most common reason for injectors with low current. You go to PCM testing if you suspect a PCM driver. 